All right, and finally, we got the top two tiers, S plus tier, the glass cannon tier, the best of each category, pirate, mage, warrior, archer, thief, all very, very similar. Some of the best burst in the game, arguably the best, these five classes have the best in the, best burst in the game. Cannoneers have the most lines in the game, two minute, three minute, whatever it is, their lines are significantly higher. Now it's all, there's small lines in there, but their burst is still very, very good. And I heard that they have a good iframe too. I think it's on 20 or 30 seconds. So they have some sort of self-sustainability. And when I talked to Lama from the Cannoneer from Enosis, he made a good point. And he said, Cannoneers, what makes them very good is they have a lot of place down skills. And I think in the current meta, that is actually very valuable because when Damien is flying up or Lucid is going through minigame or going through charge where they're invulnerable, cannoneers actually have an advantage to set up their skills, right? Set up their burst, not wasting time casting it so that by the time when it, the boss drops, it's actually getting ahead of the curb, maximizing its lines and DPS, which is actually makes sense. Pretty good. So like even at the start of a fight, phase one, they can get everything set up, ready to go, pre-cast it, place it down, and immediately it's going to do damage. Makes sense. It's pretty good. Pretty valuable, right? And so when they have the best burst in the game, um, I, I, I just had to put them here. Right? It just made sense. This tier is made for all these classes. Now, again, one iframe, when she hits the fan, may not be looking so great, right? Glass cannons, but DPS-wise, it may just, like, it may not matter. Just, they're going to be that insane. Ice Lightning Mage are the same thing, right? Mages, Ethereal Form. That's all they got. Their only iframe is a stun. I don't know if they can use that. Not really the greatest thing to use, but 50k Covert, Ice Lightning Mage. The best score in the game right now. Truffle Lock X. Not even full 60s. Pretty insane. Short cooldowns. That pair with DS4 is the meta. Every 30 seconds, everything comes back up. Every 15 seconds, no, every 30 seconds, their big burst comes up. Huge. Absolutely huge. It allows them when, like I said, when, when classes like Paladins have 60 second long durations of like burst, 60 second on, 60 seconds off, that's hard to consistently do all the time. Maximize that 60 second window. 30 seconds. Use it. Six second increments of burst. Not have to use it. Then another 30 seconds. That's easier to micromanage, right? That's easier to consistently do, put out DPS, right? Essentially, when it's up off cooldown, use it. It's going to pair with Defense Smash 4 nine times out of 10. Easy. You don't really have to think about it. That's what Ice Lightning Mages are, and they are the best in the game. The crazy part is, their line count is bottom 10, I'm pretty sure. So line count, not that valuable. How you do your damage. Short cooldowns, pair with Defense Match 4. That's how Ice Lightning Mages are just number one in Culvert. Very good in Mulong. Team content, did 300 build plus in Lucid. Number one, Mage, DPS-wise. Glass Cannon tier. Dawn Warriors. Same thing. Arguably the best burst. And there's some good burst in the Warriors. Thief, I mean, and Demon Slayer, Paladin. Dawn Warriors apparently have the best of the best. Post remaster. Makes sense, right? This is the year of the Cygnus Knights. And so Dawn Warriors, again, don't have... They just have impenetrable skin. I think they have another iframe that's on their da one of their dashes, like a 30 second iframe. So it's pretty good, right? Two, plenty. They don't got self heals though. They don't got the leech that DKs, Demon Slayers, and Paladins do, like Demon Avengers do, like Arons do. But if you pair a Dawn Warrior with Sankro, this is kind of maybe I should have named this the Sankro tier, right? If you give these classes Sankro, they're going to absolutely obliterate everything. But Dawn Warriors are very good top of the warrior classes and i think warriors are very strong so having them at the top best burst 
Yeah, not much to say. And they look badass. And their skills are sick. Mercedes, still the king of archers as far as I know. Very similar to Cannoneers. A lot of burst, a lot of small lines. They are capped. Their clone lines are capped. Right? That's the downside. All those lines aren't going to be, aren't as impactful. Cannoneers, Mercedes, Paladins, Nightwalkers all have small clone lines that are capped. But Mercedes and Cannoneers just have a tier above more lines, more damage. The burst may be just slightly better than Paladins and Nightwalkers, which is why I have them in this tier. Not much survivability. Wind Archers are better. Bowmasters probably are better with their lifesteal. But their damage, this is their tier above as far as burst. And Wild Hunters and Pathfinders have good burst. But Mercedes are just very, very good tier, good here until I see otherwise. And then Night Lords, the King of Thieves. Well, not the King of Thieves. But again, you run with a Night Lord. There's plenty of them out there. They are back. Topping the charts. Absolutely insane burst damage and this is what i was talking about mentioned before about sia how sia's burst is like over 23 seconds night lords they condensed it the shuriken is doing more lines in less time right shorter cooldowns their v4 paired with their barrage and their v1 and all their v skills chunking huge damage it's insane to see night lords are back the only again if you give them Sankral, they are going to output maximum damage. But other than Dark Sight, they got nothing. I love their mini dashes. I love their up jumps. But when shit hits the fan, they need a lot of help to survive. And I, you know, they're glass cannons, right? But hey. And I think my, my biggest complaint about Night Lord is that Barrage has to be in melee, melee range. They need to change that. Why is Barrage... Their best skill, a melee range. They should be throwing star from the farthest away. But if you're not right on top of the boss, you're missing lines, you're missing damage, and that's just a pain. It's very high risk, high reward for Night Lords. And uh, yeah, that's why they're in this tier. And if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join the Discord community. The Echo Clan community is growing the best community in the game right now and if you want to take your gameplay to the next level improve your gameplay do more damage do more dps you definitely want to subscribe the first seven days are free and you're going to get full access to everything in the channel so you definitely want to check that out thank you guys so much i'll see you guys next time